Breakthrough is not a word we use lightly during health stories, but that's exactly what doctors are calling a treatment approved today by the FDA. Our Anne Marie Turner tonight is here with how that treatment could actually save the lives of children who are battling leukemia. This treatment is called CAR T gene therapy. It works like this you extract special immune cells from the patient, those cells then reprogrammed to find and destroy cancer, and it's working for children. This is 12 year old Emily Whitehead, and she is a success story. Back in 2012, she was dying from one of the most common forms of leukemia that's called ALL. Nothing was working, not until doctors tried CAR-T gene therapy. At that time, it was experimental. She just said a few years from now, your daughter will be the first child on earth with her immune system trained to beat leukemia. Um, it would have seemed like a far stretch. But now Emily is thriving. Her survival has stretched to five years. She's cancer free. Leukemia has very good treatments for most patients, but for the patients it doesn't work, this is really game changing. This therapy from Novartis would not be used broadly. It is risky and it can come with some severe side effects. Any pain anywhere? There are other CAR T therapies on the horizon. In clinical trials, one therapy has been shown to shrink tumors in 80% of patients diagnosed with aggressive non Hodgkin's lymphoma. It sent a third of patients into complete remission. As for the treatment approved by the FDA today, 83% of patients went into remission. As our 13 investigators team has revealed, just three pediatric cancer drugs have been approved over the last two decades, compared to 190 treatments for adults. There's also a bill waiting for President Trump's signature that would require pharmaceutical companies seeking to market new adult cancer drugs to study the safety and effectiveness of the drugs for children as well. All right, Ann, thank you.